I want to get you on the record about this because we know the House is going to vote later today on whether or not to reauthorize the ban on plastic guns in this country for another 10 years. Now, when the plastic gun ban initially passed, I want to remind everybody this was in 1988. The vote was 413 to 4 in the House. And for 25 years, Congress has agreed that it doesn't make sense to allow people to carry weapons that don't show up on x-rays or in metal detectors. However, we have these weapons uh, as a reality now, thanks to 3D technology. So do you expect that common sense can prevail? And will a simple ban be enough? Uh, well, I don't think it's ever enough. I think there are a lot of things we can do to, to promote uh, safety in this country with, as far as guns are concerned. But uh, this bill this afternoon is, is on what's called the suspension calendar, which means usually reserved for non-controversial bills. They have to get two-thirds of the, the uh, membership, so 290 votes. So I think they anticipate there won't be much problem. As a matter of fact, there may not even be a roll call vote on that. So uh, it was sponsored by Howard Coble, a Republican from mm -hmm. North Carolina, and uh, I think it has a good chance, good chance of passage. I don't think you want to be on the other side of this, this very, very, as you said, very, very common sense measure. Kentucky Congressman John Yarmouth, sir, great to see you today. Thank you. Thanks, Thomas.